most athletes' goals are to become what? Bigger, faster, stronger, right? As you're gaining weight, as you're adding more cargo to the airplane, you want that airplane to get faster, so I need to be adding more horsepower. So the same thing with what we do here. So we have equipment here that shows us how many watts of power you can produce per kilogram of weight that your body has. So for instance, if you're at a point where you're gaining weight at a steady state, um, getting stronger, but start to kind of get a little bit slower, at that point we know we need to make some changes to your diet. So we know exactly, based off of your resting metabolism, how many calories you need to be consuming if we're just trying to maintain that weight. So now, when we're prescribing that meal plan for you, we're staying within that caloric intake for maintenance and continuing to do things to get you stronger, faster, and more explosive. So that's one of the key reasons why we perform the rest and metabolism test. Uh, the second thing we do is an ultrasound. Uh, it's basically a body composition test that shows us what percentage of your body is lean, what percentage of your body is fat, and how well hydrated you are. Um, again, when setting goals, weight management goals, it shouldn't be based off of overall body weight, more so based off body composition. So, you know, pounds versus fat and how well hydrated your body is. So that gives us the breakdown on that end. Uh, the other thing we do is a functional movement screening. So the functional movement screening shows us how well your body moves in functional patterns, meaning sprinting, uh, decelerating, jumping, sitting, sitting down, squatting, lunging, all the different everyday movements you do, as well as all the different athletic movements you do. So it shows us any type of energy leaks, again, how well you stabilize your joints, how mobile your joints are, um, how well your motor patterns work together, so that, that when we're looking at strength programming, as well as speed programming, we implement the things that are necessary to help you optimize your ability to sprint, accelerate, decelerate, jump, lunge, all those different types of things. Um, and then from there we go into the field testing where we do a, a 40 yard dash, um, basically to test your linear speed. We do your change of direction speed by doing the 5105 shuttle. Uh, we do a broad jump to test leg power again. We do a conventional vertical jump test as well as the no dip vertical. And again, the no dip vertical uh, basically takes the stretch reflex out of jumping and you're just basically using raw leg power to help you explode and jump. And again, by comparing the difference in your conventional vertical jump versus your no dip vertical jump, we're able to prescribe a program that's gonna help you become a more explosive jumper or a more explosive mover in general. Um, so then from there, we go into upper body testing where we do max bench press and uh, max push up for muscular endurance. So again, we gather all this information. Um, from, from that information, we put together a 20 page report which pretty much, again, breaks your body down from a, a biomechanical standpoint, a, a anatomical and a physiological standpoint, um, as well as uh, one, one huge part that uh, we do in our testing as well is we do a video analysis of your running mechanics and we break it down for you so that you can see where some of your false steps are, and where your inefficiencies are when you're moving. And again, when we're customizing the program, it's centered towards working on what your needs are as opposed to doing general stuff.